Well, good morning. I'm Jim from The Swing here. Good to see you again. Hey, <laughs> we've been going through the 23rd Psalm and, and I, I just love it. I, 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 I just think that we, I, I, it, when this is all over, I want you to have this memorized. I want you to have this so memorized that you can just have it in your heart. You say, well, I've got it memorized. That's okay. Just, uh, let's just partake of it again today. The 23rd Psalm, would you say it with me? Here we go. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Today I want to talk to you about, yesterday we were talking about the, the table and pre preparing a place for you. And then it says, He anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Oil always represents the Holy Spirit. And when you have things in your life that the Holy Spirit anoints, then that becomes such a a tool in God's hands that you get such joy from it that it overflows. When a cup overflows, it pours out. God doesn't want the Holy Spirit just to come into us and just abide in us alone, although that is powerful and wonderful, but he wants it to overflow on others. He wants us to have ministry to other people. I remember when I used to sing, I used to sing in a little trio or a quartet and, and trying to get my voice up and going. But I, I remember one day especially when I was singing and, and, we, and I got through singing and practicing and I felt, I just felt the Holy Spirit just fill me with joy. It just filled me with such joy because I wasn't singing a song anymore. I was telling a story. I was illustrating truth. I had an experience that I wanted to tell somebody and and I wasn't educated in the word or been to Bible school, but you know what? I had a I had a gift. I, I could sing a little bit. And so I take these songs that that gave me joy. And I would sing them and overflow, and and, th and there was an anointing that came on it. Now, when I say an anointing, it was, it was like it went past the the gift. It went past, it went past just singing a song. It went into um, what God said when He said He took water, and turned it into wine. And I'd get up there and sing it. I I didn't know whether I could really carry a tune that well or not. But you know what? God began to take my life. And we made record albums and God would take those songs and and they go on radio and I'd, I would get I would get uh, uh, testimonies of people's lives that were changed because they heard it it wasn't because of my singing I mean although I you have to use your tool you do your best you leave the rest and I did my best but then the Holy Spirit he just anointed it. He he would take those songs and and if you'd hear me sing it outside of the anointing, he said, "Don't think you can make it singing." But once that the Holy Spirit came upon that, and 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 just soaked it in His purpose. That's what it is. It's soaking it in His purpose. You're not there for anybody's purpose, but His. Your life is His purpose. Your 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 life and my life are His for His pleasure. Once you see that and you feel that, that's that's what the anointing is. It's, it's that being able to go past your ability and give it to him. And then the joy comes. And when the joy comes, it just overflows. You can't help. There's nothing like joy um, to turn somebody's attention. People just love when people are happy. People just love when people are confident. Not in themselves. Humble, yet confident. That's what the ministry is all about broken within yourself you know you can't do it within yourself but when that anointing comes and the joy <laughs> of God using a gift within you whether it be uh, maybe it's hospitality maybe it's um, um, teaching maybe you, I don't know what it might be but it, when he anoints it it's joyful your cup will run over mine did that's the only reason I'm here today is because my cup just keeps getting run overflowing because <laughs> because of uh, different songs I find that makes me thrilled with the relationship with Jesus. That's what it's all about.
Learn that. Keep that in your heart. Be a ministry for Christ. Father, anoint, use, and give us all joy. In Christ's name, even through this tough time, we give you praise. Amen. <laughs>